guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a candle. All right? It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. First step is to grab the container, whatever container that you want to fill it up with wax. Um, you're going to fill this up twice with the wax. So I already did that, and now we're going to melt it. That you have a thermometer to keep track of the melting wax. So when you're melting your wax, it's gonna look like this. Okay, you're gonna leave it on the burner, let it burn. You want it to look like this. So right now we already melted it. We're waiting it for it to cool down. So when it gets to the temperature of 120 to 140, we're gonna add the fragrance. And you don't add the fragrance before that because it burns the fragrance. So we just wait now. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our container for the pouring of the wax. So you're gonna grab two wicks, you're gonna grab your glue dot, and stick them on there. You're gonna stick it at the bottom. Nice, next to each other to make sure. I've always put two, just to make sure you get all of the wax burnt. I was putting one right down the middle and the wax on one side wouldn't burn. So I found putting two is better. So that's just me, you can do it however you want. But um, after that, you're gonna grab your candle wick holders and you're just gonna make sure that the wick is nice and straight. That's it. So now we just wait. So right now I'm taking the temperature. The right temperature to pour the wax should be between 120 and 140 Fahrenheit. So the temperature is 126. Perfect time to add our fragrance. So you pour our fragrance into the wax. Then you do want to grab it, move it around a little bit, then you smell it. You need to add more fragrance. It's okay. It's as strong as you want the fragrance to smell. That's how I go by it. So this smells pretty good. Smell it. it smells delicious. And then we pour it. And it's okay that it doesn't go all the way to the top because the lid that we have has a little space right here. That's gonna fit perfectly. So, we're done. We're just waiting for it to dry, and then I'll show you how to fix it when we So, now our wax is fully dried. So, what we do is we take the wicks off. Don't be afraid of like holes and stuff. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of those. So, what you're gonna grab is your heat gun or blow dryer. When I first started doing um, candles, I used a blow dryer. So, you're gonna put it on the lowest setting. You just gonna let it melt. Okay. And what I do is I cut the wigs. So you stop, you're gonna let it rest, you're gonna let it uh, tighten up again, and any imperfections that you see, you're gonna keep doing it until it's smooth. Thanks for watching. This is Esau's video on how to make candles. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, like, subscribe.